I trust animals more than humans. I will feed them before I feed me. The animals never, ever have turned on me. I am super sensitive to being criticized, put down. And never do you walk in the door and your dog says, where the hell were you? What are you wearing? You're stupid. They don't do that. Now, Mike Bear is a very dear friend of mine, and he's a life coach. Coach Mike focuses on helping his clients break free of destructive patterns that aren't yielding the results that they want in their life. And Coach Mike spoke with Robin about what's behind the behavior that we've been talking about. Let's take a look. He, he paid to visit. Let's take a look. Dr. Phil asked me to sit down with Robin and get to know her in her home environment. I'm going to have to wear a mask when I walk through the house for my own safety. Hello. Hello. Hey. I already know your eyes. This is your family. Well, I rescue and I adopt them out. Do you want to just walk through and maybe we'll find a place outside? Yeah. There's a lot of uh, dog homes. When you rescue, you have to be prepared. I'm a life coach. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for over 15 years, okay. all around the world. What I'm curious about, how's it for you to accept help? I've put up quite a few walls because in the early days, I was the target child. If my mother was alive today, I'd still be the target child. It sounds like the past has gripped a hold of you still, choking you. And the memories then create anxiety? Yeah, I have extreme anxiety disorder, extreme depression. I'm a mess. Do you think your dogs think you're a mess? Well, uh, they're either that or I'm the bionic woman. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard to tell. Why do you think you've spent your life rescuing other things, but then for yourself? I wasn't worthy of being rescued. And the thing is about myself and Dr. Phil is we rescue people when they want to be rescued. Of course. Right? We never force a rescue. What do you want to be better in your life today? I would love to learn how to rescue myself. And I'm fully aware you can't do it alone. I need a new direction. And I need desperately to purge myself of the bombarding of I'm evil, I'm no good, you're stupid, you're Rob the Slob. The noise. The noise. You're willing to maybe finally do the work to take care of yeah. you. Yeah. Sounds like we have a plan then. We'll sit down with Dr. Phil. I'm ready, I'm willing, and Godspeed, I'm able. <laughs> good, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks. So tell me, you were there, what was your perception of, of Robin's relationship with all the things that are in her environment, all the things that she's gathered, the animals, the objects, the things. What, what was your perception of her connection? My perception of your connection, Robin, was that you're not a collector, you're a rescuer mm -hmm. of objects, of animals, and that you have the strong bond to them still today, mm -hmm. and that um, it's very hard for you to be in the moment mm -hmm. because you're carrying everything from the past.